And what are other ways that the public can give back to the department? Uh, there's also excise taxes put on hunting equipment uh, and fishing equipment. And, um, you know, as, as far as, just like you said, through the sales of hunting and fishing licenses is the, the major way the department does receive funding. And it's kind of a user pays deal. You know, mm -hmm. they're buying these licenses in return the biologists are out there making sure that they have a quality population to hunt, a quality population to fish. Wonderful. Now, I was just noticing your badge and your emblems there. Tell us about those. Yeah, the uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife uh, badge here consists of a deer, uh, a cardinal, and a uh, spotted bass. The spotted bass, of course, is our, our state fish. The cardinal is our state bird. And it kind of shows people that we manage for, for different species, you know, as far as game species goes with the deer, mm -hmm. fish, you know, measured with fish populations as well, with the spotted bass being on there, and then non-game as well with the cardinal. This is so educational. I mean, we're, we're learning things that we never really knew. Uh, we didn't know all the different forms of work that you do and the, the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife does. And it's very interesting because, you know, we need to know this information and, you know, get behind it. Absolutely, yes. Uh, you know, the more people know, so hopefully, you know, the more they'll want to get out there, enjoy the outdoors. You know, a lot of kids these days are staying inside, and, and we want to see them get out there and enjoy, you know, what their grandfathers and fathers have enjoyed. What are ways that we can, like, report a mysterious activity going on, uh, things like uh, maybe a bear sighting or something like that? Yeah, you can, if you see any violations going on, as far as, you know, hunting violations, fishing violations, you can call 1-800-25-ALERT, and that will go up to Frankfurt, and they'll notify the, the proper author authority at that point. And what about if uh, somebody's got a bear in their backyard? Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's also an information number that you can call. It can be found online at fw.ky.gov, and they'll contact the local law enforcement officer and, and see what they can do about that. You know, they are starting to migrate into this area, bears, sightings, and, uh, and people's garbage cans being eaten half and stuff like that. Absolutely. <laughs> I have a, a game camera out, and I got a black bear on my game camera. So they're definitely, you know, getting in the area. And uh, there's actually a hunting season now for the black bear. Wonderful. And, you know, as the cold weather comes into our area, a lot of these animals are out moving and things like that. You've got wild coyotes. You know, what would be an, a good um, example to do if a band of coyotes was coming near you and you out in the middle of the woods? Yeah, you know, coyotes are basically just as scared of you as you are of them. So if you're out in the woods and you're not bothering their young or their food, they're probably not going to attack you. But, you know, coyotes are definitely, populations are increasing. Uh, back a few months ago, they actually have a uh, uh, season for coyotes at night time. So you mm. can hunt coyotes at night. That's wonderful. What are other things that you cover? I mean, you go to the schools, you talk to these kids, and, and I'm sure they're so interested and they got a million questions to ask you. What are other things that you do? Uh, that's a good question. During the summertime when school's not in session, I have to be doing something. So I'm down there at the uh, conservation camp working uh, at the camp that offers boating, motor boating and canoeing. Mm. It also has swimming, fishing, archery. We also have a nature course that we teach and outdoor survival course and some hunter safety courses as well. That's another real good question. What if somebody is out in the woods and they get lost and, you know, that fear comes upon them? What's ways of survival? What can they do? Number one thing to remember is to stay calm. Stay calm. If you get out in the woods and you get lost, you need to stay calm. It's also a good idea to have extra food with you if you do get lost, extra clothing, and, uh, you know, have a compass flashlights and different things like that because you know a lot of people when they get lost out in the woods they don't have a cell phone or no reception or things like that and the first thing they want to do is panic yeah you know so that's real good advice and uh you know maybe build a fire if it's real cold outside sure build a fire you know it's a good idea to have matches with you in your survival kit so you need to have a survival kit with you you know if you plan on going out and you you're going uh, on a trail or something like that. And tell someone where you're going if you're going as well. What's good things to carry along in your safety kit? Uh, a good thing to have is uh, they have this uh, thermal blanket that you can have. It'll keep you warm if you, if you get out on a, in a cold night. Um, also, extra food, as we mentioned before, extra clothing. Uh, whistle mm -hmm. It's good to have. That way you can let people know 
where you're at and maybe call an SOS signal with three short blasts and uh, you know extra food as we mentioned before and, and clothing wonderful yeah well you know from times past there's been deer hunters out in their stands and fell out of the stands hurt maybe broke leg or something like that some broke ribs uh, what are ways that if somebody's in danger or a life-threatening situation what are ways that they can try to reach out for help yeah you know it's a good idea to you know hunt with somebody if you're going out hunting don't go out there alone that way you'll have somebody with you they can go get help um, you know if you're by yourself there's you know um, not as great a chance that, that you're going to be able to you know if you're hurt severely that you're not going to be able to go out there you know and get help so so that's a good uh, suggestion don't go out there on your own don't go alone especially to the young people you know teenagers uh, go with a buddy go with some friends a family don't ever go into the woods alone absolutely absolutely because you know safety issues you could get a snake bite you're very true snake bites you know anything like that can happen and you know there's just so much we can touch on today and, it, and this is great what are some of the things the kids want to know when you go to these schools what do they ask you uh, you know they have all kinds of great questions uh, you know they'll talk about their hunting experiences their fishing experiences they'll talk about camp wanting to go to camp mm -hmm. um, and we do a program where we talk about Camper Wallace with them. 